hello guys welcome back and today we are going to start learning about Microsoft Office and this program will cover Microsoft Word Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint so you learn the basics um, and necessary stuff with which you can write down the assignments or your thesis or research articles easily and um, professionally so with this lecture is about Microsoft Word and in this lecture we'll cover pretty basic things so if you know very basic stuff then you can skip this video and move on to the next one so we'll start with Microsoft Word open the Microsoft Word as you open the Microsoft Word you see a couple of options like uh, the blank document if you click on that you will just have an empty page and here you have a lot of templates available for example you want to like write an application you want to write a cover letter or something so you have ready-made um, templates which makes things easier for you so you can just click on them and edit the text and um, forget about the formatting and there are a couple of options like business industry personal which kind of stuff do you want and you if you click on the respective option you can get the stuff right here so we'll start with a blank document so this is the general interface of Microsoft Word we'll have some text written so we can play around with it and now for today we'll learn about this home tab and whatever is inside this home tab we'll try to cover that so the first thing we'll learn is how to change the font of this this text whatever we have written so for doing any operation on the text the first thing is to select the text because um, if you ask the computer to do an operation on something then you need to tell it on which thing do you want to do certain operation like changing the font or changing the size so we have to select the text to tell the computer to do something so if you put your cursor in the text and click and drag you will be selecting the text um, and interestingly you can do that by keyboard if you press shift button and the arrow keys right left up down you will be selecting in the direction of the arrow keys try to use the keyboard as well that makes things much quicker than just using the mouse all the times so we have selected the text now here you can see Calibri body that's a font so that's a list of fonts if you click that arrow it brings up the list of fonts and if you just uh, pop up pop your arrow on a font it will just show you preview uh, how the font will look like so for example we select this font so that's the font of this text so if you want half of the text to appear in a different font you can do that just select the text and select a different font so that's how we change fonts in Microsoft Word the next thing is changing the size of the text so for example we select the text and now you see there is no font written because we have selected the text of two different fonts so it is not showing any font here but the size is same so it is showing size 11 so you can click on that list and increase the size and there is another keyboard shortcut for this um, size increase so that is control plus I'll write it down here control plus this one and control plus this so the first is to decrease the size as you press you see we are decreasing the size and if you press control plus right side square bracket you are increasing the size so this is pretty easy and convenient that you can adjust it where you want just press keep pressing control and press the square brackets and you will see that size of the font is changing 
and there are uh, of course these small shortcuts the this increase font size and decrease font size so you can click on them and change the size as you did with the shortcut keys all good so the next thing is uh, about making the text bold italic underline you can see bold italics underline and there are different options for underline double underline and other um, which kind of line do you want and the color of underline if you want to change so these all options can be accessed from this menu all right and after that if you want to change the text color this button is there to on which a is written so that that is to change the text color for example we change it color to this color and if you want to change the color of the background then you select the text and this this left side button this is to highlight or color the background so that's how we can do that and what is the third option this is to make some fancy text 3d and in different styles so you can also do a lot of um, other options like glowing reflections and uh, many fancy texts in Microsoft Word so now we move on to the right hand side paragraph so these are all settings about paragraph the ones we just discussed they were about fonts so in paragraph uh, what we see so these are the alignment options we'll try to access them we select the text and then if you can see that it is left aligned left aligned mean you can see the left margin that it is aligned to the left side but the right side is not aligned properly some lines are ending here 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 some lines are longer shorter so sometimes it looks okay but at other times it doesn't look so good so the next option is center aligned center aligned is um, usually sometime we do the captions of figures and tables center aligned or some other text as you like so center aligned will keep everything in center of the line and um, you will see st still see that from both sides the length of the lines is not equal and then of course you can right align it it would look much better if the, it is a right hand side written text not in English language in some other language but still you can use that and then the next is justify so justify will justify it from both sides and it will look much nicer and um, cleanly written and then justify has some other options which you can access um, with different kinds of text and you can see what that option is doing the next option is about the bullet points so for example we want to make this text into bullets so we keep it the cursor at the start and we'll so if you just click on it it will make it into a bullet and um, we'll see other different other options so if you have done something accidentally you can do it undo it so the key the shortcut key for that is control Z or you can see an arrow here undo undo last option and you can access the history of undo what you did you can go back to those actions so we'll click on the arrow right next to the bullet and we'll see different kinds of bullets and we can also define a new bullet so for example we'll use this one and now with the bullet point if you want to make this sentence a new bullet you can just press enter and it will enter into new line and word will recognize it as a new bullet point okay here is the third bullet point and the next step is about numbering if you want to a numbered list not a bulleted list you can also get that so this is one two three this is a numbering option and it has different other numbering options like ABC Roman numbers one to three 
and then you can of course define a new numbering format for example I want a bracket after one and then a dot I can do that click OK and see that's how I defined a new numbering format for myself however I like and after that this option is for um, other professional formatting stuff you can define lists and, and then sub lists and then their sub lists so that's uh, what we will discuss in later lectures when we'll discuss the formatting in more detail so this is just a lecture about the introduction of basic things and here you can see indentation options so if you want to increase the indent size you see we increase the indent from left side and this is to decrease the indentation option after all this we now see line spacing options so if you click that arrow you will see line spacing and you can see the preview like 1.0, 1.15, 1.5, 2.0 and 2.53 so you can control the line spacing from this menu so we'll keep it at 1.15 at the moment it is looking okay and then this option is about coloring the whole background you can see you want the background to be colored for this text you can select and color the background from here and these two options are for the alignment of text is it rough right to left direction or left to right direction of the text so you can control that from here for different languages where you write left to right or right to left and then we have another option of sort it works pretty well for the tables but you can also use it on the bullet points like you see HT and then the next THE the, here is THI so it has arranged them alphabetically so this is just to sort the mm, contents of the text alphabetically and then you can draw borders around the text for example you select the text and then click this button and you see if I want a bottom border I can do that and there are different other options which you can explore from this menu so about the styles we'll discuss this uh, later in detail how you can professionally format your document using these styles tab so currently we'll just and discuss a few more things like find you can find any text for example I want to find this word in the text I write it down and look word is pointing that this word is here one result found and it is also showing the sentence here on the left side in the navigation pane and then you can replace a word for example I want this word denied to be replaced with some other word for example accepted if I see replace it will replace this one word but if I see replace all it will find all the uh, this word in the whole document and if it appears more than one times it will replace all of its instances so I'll click replace and it's asking you do you want to continue search from the beginning yes what has finished searching the document it means there is no other word called denied so we have already replaced the one with the other word so these were very basic options of Microsoft Word and in the next lecture we'll learn about some more basic stuff then we'll move on to the advanced stuff um, about formatting professional documents and adjusting other settings and you can do very uh, professional professionally formatted documents with Microsoft Word and that was all about this lecture hope you enjoyed the video keep uh, yourself updated for the next lecture and we'll see you guys later
Bye-bye.